is now ready to help Nigeria in fighting against modern day slavery. <laughs> And today you're welcome to the Sector Vlog family. Yeah, I remain Jacket Solu at a Sector, and I have by my side my funny hubby. Hello everyone, this is Dasana, the most handsome, yet capable African nation's adrenaline pumping and physical power husband. And beside me also, I have my twinkle, little, little star. Okay, right here, you're welcome this day, and we're discussing something very interesting. Can you just imagine? What we are actually looking at today is something of seriousness. Let's be serious. I think it's something of laughter because you have to laugh about it to keep yourself going in this world that is so filled with different ups and downs. Can you imagine that China is now helping Africa to fight the modern day slavery? What are you imagining about it? China are now becoming more benevolent. To help African people, that oh, you people, we want to now start helping you to fight slavery because slavery, according to the words of Chung Chung Twin, <laughs> I think I need to get a sip of water. Hmm. The Cultural Council of the Chinese Embassy in Nigeria made this pledge during the what? <laughs> the Remembrance for slave trade <laughs> in 2020 world in Abuja. And it said that China is now ready to help Nigeria in fighting against modern day slavery. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, come look at this. The People's Republic of China has pledged to work with Nigeria to fight and win the war against modern day slavery. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, <laughs> for crying out loud, do you know the meaning of modern day slavery? That's what it even has about. Mr. Shetro, can you define it? It's a very, very simple thing because according to Mugba Moya Dictionary, which says that modern day slave trade is a system of copying what has been done to slave trade you before and fine-tuning it in a better way. So, the meaning of that is that if you are going to stylishly not do what has been done in a refined way, then you are abolishing what is supposed to be refined in a better way. Which one are you saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm as confused as the person that said he wants to help us to fight the slave trade. <laughs> you, see, you, you see what is happening here? I'd like you to please place your comments in the comment section below. What are you placing comments about? Let me tell you, the whole world is confused. Even we do not know what we do not know that we do not know. <laughs> because it's just like a, a scenario where you want to define a scenario that the scenario does not allow you to define itself. <laughs> I think that is actually the thing. You know why? Because uh, this, you, you hear of China helping so many African countries with so many big, big loans that they know that they can never repay. The stuff is that you're taking something whole and you're just removing the pack of the oldness. You are rebranding that old thing and you are now calling it is a new thing. As in slavery in the time past, Africans were taken away from the shores of Africa. But right now, the slavery is now being drawn right on the shore of Africa. And is, is that your own definition of modern day slavery? No, no, no. Tell me, look at my face and tell me that's what you are defining for people to be listening to you. Mm -mm. <laughs> Please don't listen to our. Please comment in the comment section. China comments. has been helping Africa out of holding day slave trade. Sorry. Out of. You yourself, you are confused. It's not that I'm confused. I'm just economizing the truth. <laughs> because right now you have to manage the truth. Uh, now, when these people that are helping us out of modern day slavery, so, but it's like. And the last time. These same people were not paying their workers. Yes. No, no, no. They were trying to carry out a research on what people went through when they were not paid salary. So that was what actually okay. happened. Okay. Yeah. So that was why even during the lockdown, they still locked up some persons in some places in Nigeria, in Africa. Good Egypt. Look at the crowd out there to protest. There's so much people out to protest. 
Yes, we are fighting for our rights. The Lagos State Government has sealed the Chinese company where a 14-year-old boy died by electrocution. This comes after an investigative report by TVC News into the unwholesome label practices taking place at the footwear manufacturing factory. I visited the footwear manufacturing factory in Lagos when the international community celebrated the Child Labor Day. Then I discovered how underage children are forced to walk for 12 and 18 hours daily at the factory. That visit drew the attention of the authorities to the plight of the workers. During the brief inspection by the Lagos State Safety Commission, TVC News observed that all the claims by the workers are true. With exposed electrical wires, no safety signage, no standard chairs, no standard toilets or protective wares at the factory. Generally, the place is not fit for people to walk in. One, you have unsafe stacking of goods all over the place. Two, you have over overcrowding. Three, the access routes are not clearly demarcated. We had, I nearly fell down while I was coming to this place. And then your seats, they are not economically friendly. In total, your safety management system is very, 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 very poor. Though Shengfa prepared for our arrival, not all the workers were present. After further search, TVC News discovered that some were locked in a room where they still walked, a few were eating in the store, while others were nowhere to be found. These same people that are helping us out of modern day slavery now, they locked no. up some workers, and please let me be, they locked up some workers and they fought against their own will, they forced them that they should be working, and those, those workers have to cry out and these are the people right now helping us out of modern day slavery. Please, let's give them a round of applause. Please, 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 please. I don't know why she's sounding so cynical. This time around, I have to go into high-level spiritual, no, high-level spiritual English presentation because a country, I want to say for me, okay, some country called China, Chinkos, they are trying to help you to revitalize the Abuarokandom of the Mesopotamian. And that is a scenario whereby both you that you are listening to me and me are just confused. Uh, I, I, I tend not to go the confusion train. Mm. I tend not to go down the confusion train with me successful. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you, you need to understand the megagogy of the paragogy. <laughs> the whole world is confused. That's the conclusion ah, of the whole story. I, I tend to just say my own. Using extremism, if you are a literature player. Extremism is a process of presenting only by the one in a simple way. Uh, do you know what it is? Okay, let me not say, just Google it. So I'm just going to say it in a very nice way, in a functified way, mm. in a way that you like to hear it. Oh, they are helping us out of modern day slavery right now, but... Mm -mm -mm. Well, let, come and think of it, come to think of it, or think anyone that is okay. China has been helping you guys in Africa, okay, them guys in Africa, to build railway lines, build seaports, just like they did in, uh, uh, is it Jamaica or what have you? They've been helping to build so many beautiful places across Africa. Many people, many countries do not want to lend Africa money, but China is so benevolent, is it benevolent or benevolent? Ben They've been helping Africa to build up infrastructure. And at the end of the day, is this what we want to repay them with? Uh, but the infrastructure is actually, are they not the ones taking them over? No. Mm. Point of correction. China is really helping you. They, they, they lend you guys money. They bring in professionals from their country to help you execute the contract that they lent you money on. And at the end of the day, they are also planning, in case you don't know, they are, they are also working out how Chinese bank can operate right here in Nigeria, in Africa, across Africa, so that it can make it easy for them to tap to our moon <laughs> Okay, it's very good. You know, one thing I've discovered in life is for you to live long and live well, don't mm. be so serious. Mm. Just tend to take life with words. Because serious people are in the hospital, and because yes. of all the 
political, spiritual, mumbo jumbo that is happening all over the world. Even when you are listening to news, listen with laughter. Yes, and make yourself happy. And that's yeah. what we do on this channel. I think we're just coming back right now to mm -hmm. uh, our news and qualified news in a funny way, in a laughing This is way. the period where we'll be giving you the news that is happening across the whole world in a more gentlemanlike way. Relaxed mood. Just tell you on a lighter mood. And just see the the the, the phone feel part of it, and don't feel the pain as if you're going to have a attack. No. So we see this is what is happening now. They are helping us fight more than day slavery. And so what are we doing? We are applauding them. But actually, from the back, from the front, from the center, we actually know what is happening because, like most of the lands in some countries, like the airport in Lusaka, I don't know if they they taking over the control. I, it's not even really real control. Maybe management. Objection. They want to manage it. Objection. Please, don't misuse words here. They are only helping to manage the economy of the African population because according to econometrics, in which you begin to find the Y, the X, the U, the Momos. <laughs> I mean, the Momos. Because if not the Momos, if they are helping to manage here, these Africans should also, we Africans or them Africans should also help to manage in China. No, <laughs> we can't help to manage in China because China is a ready, robust economy with trillions of dollars in their name. Their, 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 their system is working 24 hours, power mm -hmm. outage is out of place, and they are doing Tururu, tururu, tururu. <laughs> so they need to go to a place whereby they now need to help we them. Is it we them? They need to help them, them. in Africa. Them we. Or, or them we. <laughs> they need to help them in Africa. And they are doing so, really, we need to give kudos to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are helping African economy to develop by making sure that they did not feel, uh, as in, not feel. That they did not carry people because holding this slavery was bad. They are not going to carry people and tie their hand into their country because after all, there is no space to their country. So it's better they have what we call a suitable Mosquanta method <laughs> in Africa where they can employ cheaper labor, cheaper land, see people that will be calling them Oyibo, Oyibo, Oyibo. And allow them to do something unchecked. I tell you, the land of Africa is a blessed land. What I wonder is the quota to quarter <laughs> that they eat. I know, but we wonder the people that are actually <coughs> mm -hmm. where I'm the people that are actually <coughs> you understand it. So, but you there and me right here, what we have to do is not just to complain or to do this. Whatever news that is out there, if you take it the way it is, you have a patent song. And you could go up oh, high blood pressure. And if you die, because sometimes you even be reasoning, you be asking yourself this question that the people that are supposed to be in charge to curb all these mis mis is it mis or or mis where are they? They are thinking maybe with this that is on my side. Maybe that's what they are thinking. But the fact in Yoruba we call them Fidiroli. <laughs> Yoruba, yes, I think we, we need more of Yoruba. Stuff yes, now. Now because we because know we have discovered that we the Yorubas are the Israelis, the missing tribe of Israel. Of Israel. So, so she's from Gad, me are from Naphtali. <laughs> so the fact is, we, we should not just sell our everything, our heritage, our language, our everything. And I think we, for those of you, our viewers on this channel that have missed this part of us, we are coming in right in full force right now. So let's have You know, I was this. pregnant before, so I've delivered now. So I can have full force. Pay attention to details of this. So any news that is happening across the globe, I'll be letting it down like poom -pum. So let's let's have your view on this. What do you view on this? Just be nice in your comments. You know, that's what I always say. I'm the defender of the word the global citizen. And I remain myself defender of my fake clientele. So you've defended your clientele as well today. So I I remain my own self joker and etc. It's very good. Don't don't forget the joy therapy. Mm. Whatever you go into in life, that's just what we brought to you today, bringing you what is happening right here on the soil of Africa. 
as if we are not opening our eyes. But we are seeing with our back eyes, with our mind's eyes, with our stomach eyes, with all our eyes. We are in case, seeing. In case you don't know, pure water is not 50 now. <laughs> so that's just it. Make sure you don't lose your joy. Whatever is happening around you, make sure your joy is intact because your joy is your strength. And your strength is your life. Please, we, whatever you're going through, know that there is a set of couples that are interested in you. You can reach out to us at the Cetros, at Gmail, Andrew, and everything. We love you. And tomorrow we'll be showing you, uh, we'll be doing a story about some youth that we empowered. So stay tuned. In case you don't have your spouse there, look for our picture and hug her, hug her like so much. Take care of yourself. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye. You may like to watch this video up. Oh.